you might be looking at me like, okay, this is a little different. That's because it is. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. That feels so incredibly wrong to say. I'm so used to the way that TikTok works now that it almost feels cringe to say that, but it's okay. We're on a different platform. Today, if you couldn't tell by the title already, I'm gonna be reviewing Jeffree Skin. Look how beautiful this packaging is. I put the bonnet on. One, to keep the hair out of the face, and two, because it matches the product. Hello. I also did my nails. Everyone, don't look too closely. They are press-ons. Just so you didn't have to see my musty, dusty fingernails because anxiety kicked in really bad yesterday, and they are nubs now. Anyway, I'm really excited. I've had this sitting in my room for about a week now. But I wanted this to be a first impressions reaction on Jeffree Skin because I hear this is this. Now, the reason I'm extra excited to try this is because it is specifically for dry skin. And you guys already know from my previous video that my skin is sucked out dry, okay? She's always dry. So I'm excited to see how this is going to work. Let's open it together. Now, in this line, we have the Magic Star Recovery Face Oil. We have a restorative cream moisturizer extreme hydration body butter this is the wyoming winter healing hand solve and the wyoming winter lip oil also cannot forget the star of the show the wyoming winter tumbler just wait until you see this i put this on my instagram stories and i had so many comments on it the most beautiful tumbler look at this it's just so different it looks like a starbucks cup but like enhanced and last but not least i already opened this one the beauty bag this is probably my favorite bag your edible can press it down Pop this baby back up and she is sturdy okay has like a wire on the inside and she's deep so you can fit all your products in here Let's keep adding all the product that's everything. It all fits. I think a nail just popped off. <laughs> it's only the beginning of the video. Get it together. I tried gluing her back, but she's hanging on a limb, so. All right, first things first. I think I'm going to go in with the thing that makes the most sense. The Wyoming Winter Healing Hand Solve. Beautiful packaging. Obsessed with the color. So on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics description, it says, This hand solve will tackle even the driest of hands. Our vegan hand solve utilizes jojoba oil and pamper... What? And pomegranate sterols to hydrate and increase moisture levels on your skin, all while enhancing the skin's barrier to protect against environmental stressors. It's the ingredient list is a bunch of stuff that I cannot pronounce. So, okay, there's a dumbed down version. Coconut oil, sunflower, jojoba, olive oil, avocado oil, castor oil. The rest of them, I'm not even going to attempt, but I'll leave that up on the screen for you. This is what it looks like on the inside, and I'm just gonna scoop that out with my nail. I'm gonna try this. Okay, it has a Vaseline type feel to it, which I am not opposed to. If you do not like thick stuff, this might not even be the video for you because let me tell you, if you've got dry skin, you're gonna need it thick. I can't even describe what it smells like. Almost minty, almost like cinnamon yes like the cinnamon mints in a sense but like not as strong i it's it's really hard but i enjoy it but so far i'm gonna actually gonna use a little bit more because <laughs> you guys know why you guys know why now we're gonna go ahead and try the magic star recovery face oil i was taught to put moisturizer on before since joining tiktok and doing my skincare on tiktok i have been told that you should go in with your serum before so that's what we're gonna do today correct me if that is wrong i guess everybody has a different way of doing it it almost looks like jelly i'm gonna try not to get it to touch my skin wow that is extremely liquidy i love the smell there's one thing that jeffrey knows how to do is how to properly scent his products all his stuff just always smells amazing okay that feels amazing it does feel extremely oily on my hands 
I'm just gonna go in with some hand sanitizer to kind of dry that up as I'm speaking on my dry ass hands, it's fine. The face oil retails for $28, which honestly isn't bad for a serum. A little goes a very long way. You guys saw how runny it was. Honestly, I probably could have just done the one drop and that would have completed the full face. And now that I've let it sit on my skin, it almost feels like my skin didn't absorb it. Like I still feel a good layer of the oil on the skin. And that's not to say it's a bad thing. That is a good thing on my end because I like for my skin to feel hydrated. I personally don't like when a serum just evaporates immediately. $28 is a great price and the amount of product that you get for it, I definitely think it's worth it. My skin just looks and feels very hydrated. My lips even feel super hydrated after that because that got in my mouth. Right, so speaking on lips, let's go ahead and try the Wyoming Winter Lip Oil. I'm gonna go in First of all, love because it's thick, but not sticky. It doesn't have a scent or a taste. I'm gonna go ahead and get the description from the website itself. Wyoming Winter Lip Oil. Retails for $20. The soothing lip oil softens while stimulating collagen production, resulting in fuller, plumper lips. Product goes on clear. So it does look blue, but it comes out clear. This is infused with Camilla oil, which slows signs of aging, stimulates collagen, and olive oil, which provides superior hydration and softens and plumps. $20 for a lip oil is pretty pricey. Would I spend $20 on a lip oil? I love lip oils, but not enough to spend $20 on it. Next, we're gonna go in. This is what I was most excited about. Um, I love moisturizers. It is my favorite thing in the world. This is the Jeffree Star Wyoming Winter Restorative Cream Moisturizer. I'm really excited to try it and see how it works for moi. Okay, so when you first open it, this is what you see. This literally looks like a bottle of perfume all right this is just luxurious as <laughs> look at this packaging already 10 out of 10. So let's read up on the moisturizer intensely hydrate your skin with this cream moisturizer tested to stand up to even the harshest wyoming winters we know that jeffrey is living in wyoming here in california anything 60 and below is freezing to us and it snows out there so I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I know what the weather is like in Wyoming, but I know it's cold. <laughs> so how to use, apply a small amount to the fingertips and gently massage onto the face and neck. The active ingredients in here are niacinamide, which hydrates, brightens, and reduces excess oil production. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong because I've, I've never seen this in my life. Phytocare HACG1M, which is a natural replacement for hyaluronic acid. Heal Panthenol, which is a moisturizing agent. BVOSC, an antioxidant that helps mitigate the damaging effects of UV exposure. DS Ceramide, a ceramide that reinforces the skin barrier. Make fun of me all you want. Okay, I didn't pursue college for a reason. Wagandies? Wagandies? Wagandies. Whatever it is. Okay, an extract from... <laughs> ashwagandha roots ashwagandha roots has restorative and anti-inflammatory properties snow algae powder which helps reinforce smooth and hydrate the skin uh, helps reinforce smooth and hydrate the skin punctuation is very important everybody and aquacell which is a complex of watermelon rind extract, lentil fruit extract, unripened apple and apple skin hydrating and reduces fine lines but we're gonna go ahead and try this. I'm so excited. This is what I was most excited about. Let's see if she lives up to the hype. This comes with 1.8 ounces of product. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop it with my coke nail. And I like massaging it onto my fingers. That is very thick, for sure. Um, actually, this one is scentless which I also really appreciate. Oh my God, this is literally gliding on like butter. Insane. Oh! You don't need a lot of product. I literally got the smallest scoop. That is way too much for my forehead, but I'll just use it for my neck. This is how much product I'm using. Still have a good amount of product left.
Look at this. This is the result I get with my favorite serum, which is the Glossier Future Dew. I love using this right after I'm done with all my skincare to really just lock in that moisture because she is thick. This surprisingly doesn't even feel thick on the face. I can tell that the product is thick, but it doesn't feel that way. The moisturizer is $42, which is not the worst. It's not drugstore, but it's not extremely high-end, which honestly, 100%. I'm actually extremely excited now to try the body butter. I'm trying this on the driest part of my body, which happens to be my legs. Now, I'm not gonna show you my legs because they are not shaved, but my legs have been the flakiest part of my body for years now, and I feel like nothing I do has helped it. So let's see if this Wyoming weather product can withhold the scales of the wet. Last but not least, we are going to try the Jeffree Star Body Butter. Oh my god, how do people do this ASMR thing? So, I'm going to have to <laughs> remove my pants. No, you can't see your little nasty. Just shrunk. That's because I was sitting on my knees. Let's see what this is all. Right, this comes with a little cap. I'm gonna grab about this much. I'm gonna try it on my knees because my knees are the worst part of my body. They are feeling <laughs> very rough. You hear that? That's what they sound like all the time. I'm very thick, already love. This one almost smells like, it smells like the hand solve. Pinty, cinnamony. I'm gonna put it to the test and do it on one full leg, leave the other one alone. I will keep you guys updated later on on how the leg held up. The sun is beaming in just right right now, so I'm getting a close-up of my skin. It's been about an hour, and she still feels extremely smooth. I am blinded by the light, I'm so sorry. But this is literally, like I am just gliding my fingers over my skin, which usually never happens. Usually with whatever moisturizer I have on, it absorbs almost immediately. I want you guys to be able to see in full lighting. So I want to talk about the entire line. What I feel is worth it and what I feel is not. Again, this is just a first impression. So as of first impressions, what I immediately felt in love with is a moisturizer. Moisturizer is beyond belief. I am obsessed with this. I definitely think it's worth the money. 10 out of 10, I highly recommend. Next thing I loved, the serum. My skin after hours now is still feeling amazing. Next thing, the hand healing solve. Now personally, I love any sort of hand creams. I think they're super beneficial. However, I do feel like this is just a slightly lighter version of a Vaseline. Um, and I feel like Vaseline can do the job. Again, if you're gonna bundle it up, I think it's totally worth it um, to buy it individually. However, I can't exactly say. I do enjoy the glisten that it's left on my hands. I applied it about two hours ago and I still feel like they look nice and soft. But this just isn't something that I would go out of my way to purchase, but it is a good product. The body butter. I have mixed feelings about this one. I feel like, yes, it did its job in softening. It wasn't as intense of a repair as I was hoping it would be. I felt like the hand solve did a better job at moisturizing my knee than the body butter. This I applied on one knee, this I applied on the other, and this one felt a lot smoother. And that's with exfoliation on this knee. It's great for a gift or if you're gonna get a bundle again. It's not a bad product, but it's not a product that I would go out of my way for again. Another thing I do truly feel is worth it is the bag. You guys already know about the bag. I'm obsessed with the fact that it has this little under pouch thing with some extra compartments to keep your brushes. I just feel like this is the perfect pouch and I love when brands are intentional about its usefulness. The lip oil. So you guys already know how I feel about this. I feel like it's a great lip oil. It feels amazing 
on the lips however it is twenty dollars and that is pretty pricey for a lip oil if you're used to paying that much for a lip oil then you can do no wrong with this one or if you're gonna get it in a bundle and last but not least you just i'm sorry you can't go wrong with the tumbler i don't really need to explain much on this one it's pretty self-explanatory you like it you like it i love it attempt to say goodbye in the sun i am horribly disturbed by it my eyes are actually really sensitive to it but i just i love the lighting too much to let it go that is it for this video if you guys watched all the way through thank you so much for being here to all my subscribers we officially hit a thousand subscribers I wish. that is so exciting i feel like it was the hardest thing to grow on youtube and that is not to say that that isn't my fault had i been more consistent maybe Maybe it would have happened sooner, but I want to thank you guys so much for being here and supporting me. I hope you found this video to be helpful if you were thinking about purchasing anything from this line. And if you have any additional questions or comments, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. If you're not following me on socials already, I am under Sofia Divina on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Push on that post bell notification button to notify you every time I post a video because you know she comes up once the blue moon and let me know if you guys want updated video on either one of these products if not the whole line i am more than happy to do so that is it for today lovelies thank you so much for hanging out i love you so 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 much Mwah. stay so safe out there and i'll see you on the next one Ooh.